Welcome to the Skolnick Technical Training Institute. Our trainer, Mr. Jay Skolnick. In today's demo, we have an electronic control unit, or ECU. This unit could be in an aircraft, tank, or automobile, and could be for controlling the engine, a missile, or the airbags in the car. Imagine this ECU is in your application. Inside our ECU is a power supply, analog and digital electronics, along with a microprocessor which is running the code. Power is applied in the front of the unit and the solid green light shows the unit is functioning properly. The red indicator light will alert us to any event that interrupts the microprocessor. This could mean a false airbag deployment, an inaccurate missile warning indicator, a misguided missile, engine stall, or other unwanted event. In today's demonstration, we will first show a radiated susceptibility issue caused by an ESD event. Next, you will see a conducted emission issue being generated from the electronics inside the ECU. Finally, we will show solutions to both problems. A radiated susceptibility problem is caused by an ESD event where our ECU is subjected to a voltage spike of 1 kV. This transient causes an interruption of the microprocessor, the red indicator light flashes, and an audible tone sounds to signal the event. Moving to the issue of conducted emissions that affect our unit, we will use a spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer shows EMI issues with our ECU at 50 MHz, as well as some other smaller spikes in the 10 to 30 MHz range. To meet the required specifications, we must mitigate both the EMI issues, as well as protect our unit against transient or ESD events. In our effort to solve our problems, we are going to use an EE seal from Quell. The prototypes are delivered in 24 hours and inserting the EE seal into our MIL 5015 connector is easy. We simply place the EE seal over the pins of the connector until the pins protrude through the holes. Once in place, we're using the mating connector as our insertion tool to secure the EE seal and create our very own filtered connector including ESD protection in seconds. Now that we have our EE seal in place, we can retest our ECU to see if we have solved our issues. First we apply a 1 kV event to our ground plane and the green light remains lit and we receive no indicator or audible tone that a transient has affected our box. Next we look back at our spectrum analyzer to see what changes have occurred in the EMI noise affecting our box. As you can see, all frequencies from 10 to 50 MHz have been mitigated and are no longer an issue. Today's ESD and EMI solutions were fast and effective. If you'd like additional information on today's product solutions from Quell, visit www.eeseal.com. The Skolnick Technical Training Institute is proud to help companies all around the world learn more about ESD and EMI. More information on the Skolnick Technical Training Institute can be found at www.skolnick-tech.com.